there, signs of Taurus. This is Kim. I'm going to do a reading for you for the next 48 hours. This will be a general Celtic cross spread. Thank you for subscribing, and please hit the like button. That gets these seen, and I appreciate it. Um, if you want a private reading, I do those for donation. Check out the description box below. And let's get started. What is the issue got going on for Taurus? Wow. Lots, but I'm not taking all of those, so issue for Taurus. Taurus, you may be in the middle, torn about something. Very comfortable on one hand, and then on the other hand, going into yourself an awful lot. Maybe becoming bored of a situation. What is the challenge? King of Cups. Challenge might be about balancing your emotions and actually feeling like you direct your own life with the uh, King of Cups energy. Diplomatic, warm, caring, balanced, and centered. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What is the root or the heart of the matter here? Tower moment. Tower. A strange. And may... Maybe this moment was caused by, or would be, will be caused by um, unbalance of emotions. We, we will get clarification on these in a minute. Past position, the Taurus. It could just be a sudden change or disruption. Past position, four of wands in reverse. Something that wasn't completed out. Something that uh, just didn't, maybe didn't pan out, didn't reach the milestones that, you thought it was going to reach. Something like that. Nothing to celebrate yet about this. Present position. Now there's something to celebrate. <laughs> this present position is Nine of Pentacles. Really being powerful on your own. Gain. Financial gain. Winning. Windfall. Inheritance. Lots of money. <laughs> being uh, dependent on no one but yourself. What's the near future for Taurus? Wow, guys, seriously? Oh, nice. Ten of Cups. That's being independent and strong and also sharing love and emotions with others and something that's going to be really emotionally fulfilling for you. It's going to be completed. That's nice. Ten of Cups. All right, how are you feeling? You're feeling pretty victorious here. Something has panned out. Something's gone really good. I feel like you've got a victory in something. People might be lifting you up. Meeting your own expectations. Not necessarily others, but consequently, you know, meeting others' expectations. That's why they're rewarding or giving you reward or merit. What is the external circumstance? All right. Something that's got to be an equal give and take to you. What do I get out of this? What goes around comes around. And watching out for any feminine energy around you that you feel may be using emotions, feelings, and words to manipulate. Love to manipulate. All right. The um, hopes and fears. The Six of Cups, family, getting family together, soulmate energy, 666, six, six. oh my God, 666, six, six. wow, Taurus, <laughs> look up the meaning of that, it's not what you think it is, look up the angel, <laughs> angel meaning of this, it's time for positive change, basically, and that's what that is, is talking about, let's look at um, the outcome, projected outcome here. All right, so we have Knight of Disc and the Dancer in Reverse. You're just still waiting on message, on a message. Good, good news to come in. Something is slow and steady right now. It's going to prove very reliable for you or to you, but we're waiting for it to come in. So we're waiting. Waiting, waiting. Waiting for good news, too. 
regarding finances, I suppose. And then love, partnership on the bottom. Here, we'll leave that like that. And then, Taurus, let's go ahead and get some Wisdom of the Oracle cards for you. And we'll clarify this tower, okay? Certainly will. Taurus, there's something that you might be working on to clean things up. Tying up loose ends, cleaning things up. Spirit says clean it up. <laughs> Happy, happy. Oh my gosh. Well, you who who wouldn't be happy with Ten of Cups coming up emotionally? But right now, the material is doing really good too. All right, so let's look at clarifying this tower moment for Taurus. What is this? What does it represent? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Something that didn't work out in the past, like a job or work. Something that you're really skilled at changed. So it's about your work that something had changed a whole lot. Maybe getting too comfortable with laying at home, lounging around, needing to work. Maybe that's the issue. Let's go some more. <coughs> Excuse me. What else for Taurus? <laughs> oh my God, the card's all a mess. We'll take those two. Seven of Swords. Oh, okay. Something that didn't work out because of maybe lying, cheating, stealing, deception of some kind. The uh, Seven of Swords around you. With the Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands, uh -huh, we also have Ace of Pentacles. Either an opportunity to step through something that's going to be very, very rewarding like financially, an opportunity to open that door, go through it, or this is your pentacles waiting for you um, to open that door uh, because of past, you know, inspiration, finding clarity, truth, two aces, the lovers about a partnership, maybe about the six of cups. But right now, there's not any change right now and no closure or ending of a chapter. That's what I got so far. Let's do um, Guardian Angel, and then we'll do some tea leaves. Angel of New Beginnings coming in. So there is change. It's just not yet, but there is change coming in. Angel of New Beginnings. Wanting to help you see that you can breathe fun back into your life again. Tea leaves. Poor Taurus. Tea leaves. Gavel, involvement with the law. Ring, a marriage will take place, either business or romance. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer. And dog, protection from a powerful friend. Nice. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Sending you love and light. Join me for your next reading, Taurus. Bye-bye.